Good day to all of you. I'm back. My name is Terence. Today I'm going to present our group assignment videos with Daphne, Zisi, Peiyi, and Suangyi. Our group video is about the real life cases related to mechanics of materials. To this video, we achieve learning outcomes, which are we can solve the problems involving a body under the action of A, action and torsional loot. We can also solve the problems involving stress in limbs. We can eval evaluate stress and deformations of biomedical device due to compound loot. So mechanics of materials deals with the behavior of solid objects subjects to stresses and strains. These studies often um, refers to various methods of calculating the stress and strain in structural members such as beam, columns, and shafts. So before that, let me show you a clip. Take a look. One day, Timmy wanted to prepare a lunch for his grandpa. He was thinking what he was going to prepare. Ah. Today is Sunday. My father told me to prepare a lunch for Grandpa. Hi. Could what you maybe talk with you? Hmm. He got hypertension. No, 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 no. Hmm. Or dim sum. Eh. He got trauma towards dim sum because of my mom's dim sum. Like. Um. Ah. Aya, uh, just simple porridge with fried garlic and scallion on top of it with slight dishes. Let's get it. Who's calling me now? Hi. 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 Hey, why you guys call me? Hey, Timmy, tomorrow is Mr. Lim, our MS teacher's birthday. Le. We decided later we want to go shopping more to buy for yourself for him. Huh? Hello. Covid cases 2000, man. Eh. You want to go shopping more? Huh? Hey, why you guys don't want to go to Lazada or shopping? Oh, this time Lazada and Shopee don't have much discount. Plus, they don't have much time to wait for you. Yeah, lo, I don't want to let him wait for my present. I want to be the first one to give him present. He's so handsome. Wow. Never know. I should be the one to give him first. Because he is the one who can see my ideas touch. No, it's me. No, it's me. Uh, okay, okay, don't fight, please. You guys have to think what we need to buy first. So, Timmy, do you want to join us? Uh, yeah, I really busy. Uh, I can put myself. Uh, you guys go buy. I'm uh, busy for my grandpa's cookie food. Wow, Timmy's so obedient, eh? Ah, uh, no. uh, never mind. Uh, let me go buy, Sina. Bye. 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 Uh, finally. Hmm. I'm so sweaty. I'm definitely believe that grandpa like it even is simple but delicious. Hmm. Let's go to grandpa house. Hey grandpa, why you come out? Hi, great sun. Are you to come out to see the sun? Everything raining man. Are you hey grandpa you know what? I prepared a lunch for you which is porridge with a uh, side dish. Oh wow can I try now? Are your grandson the food? Uh, I want to try now. Ah, try here, me. You want to go in, try? Uh? Sure, sure. Okay, la, okay, la. Uh, wait, wait. Uh. Uh, grandpa, this is the porridge. Hmm, uh. porridge, nice, nice, nice. Nice, uh, nice, uh, porridge. Okay, so it's a side dish. You want to uh, try? <laughs> wow, what side dish is this? Why is so sour? What you put inside? <laughs> huh? Why like that? Wait, why my side dish like this?
Welcome back to Terrace National Broadcast. So as you can see, Timmy, such a pity boy. But did you realize that there are some elements of mechanics of materials happens in this video, which is this, this, and this. So we are going to move on to our main sections. Let's go. Have you ever wondered how the kitchenware and working speed related to the mechanics or material in our daily life? Mortar and pestle are implements used since ancient times to prepare ingredients or substances by crushing and grinding them into fine paste or powder in the kitchen, laboratory, and pharmacy. The mortar is a bowl typically made of hard wood, metal, ceramic, or hard stone such as granite while the pestle is a heavy and blunt club shaped object. The substance to be ground which may be wet or dry is placed in the mortar where the pestle is pressed and rotated onto it until the desired texture is achieved. In this assignment, the kitchenware that we have chosen for demonstrating the real life cases in mechanics or material are mortar and pestle and kitchen hook. Besides, for a biomedical device, we have chosen a walking stick to perform the evaluation of stress and its deformation due to compound load. Timmy wanted to cook a meal. He used a pestle to crush and grind the garlic. After cooking, he washed a spatula and hung it at the kitchen hook. Then, he served the dish to his grandfather. His grandfather tasted it and unfortunately, he felt angry because it tastes awful. He pressed his walking stick to calm himself down. When Timmy was using the pestle and mortar, we can calculate the average from the stress and sharing stress at the pestle. The force applied by Timmy is 12 Newton. Given the length of pestle is 16 cm, while its diameter is 4.5 cm, the weight of the pestle is neglected. After Timmy hung the spatula back to the kitchen hook, we can calculate the maximum normal stress of the hook due to bending. Given the length of the hook is 3 cm while the width is 4 mm. The distance between the spatula and the fixed point of the hook attached to the wall is 2.5 cm. The weight of the spatula is 158.8 gram. When Timmy's grandfather was pressing down his walking stick, we can calculate the stress and deformation of the walking stick. The force applied by him is 500 Newton. Given that the length and the diameter of the walking stick is 75 cm and 3.5 cm respectively. Since his walking stick is made of aluminium, the modulus of elasticity is 69 gigapascal. Moving on to the result and discussion, in part A, we are to determine the normal stress and torsional stress in the pastel. And in this case, the weight of the pastel is neglected. To determine the normal stress in the pastel under actual loading, we should first compute the area of the pastel by using the formula A equals to pi d squared over 4. We will get the area equals to 1.5904 times 10 power of negative 3 meters squared. Hence, the normal stress acting on the pastel under actual loading can be determined by using the formula sigma average equals to P over A and we will get the normal stress is 7.55 kPa. Next, to compute the shearing stress applied to the pastel, which is a shelf with circular cross section that is caused by the application of equal and opposite transverse forces, as shown in the figure here, we first calculate the polar moment of inertia J. Since the radius of the pastel is 2.25 cm, by applying the formula J equals to 1 over 2 pi c power 4, we will obtain the J equals to 4.0258 times 10 power of negative 7 meter to the power of 4. By knowing the value of J, the shearing stress acting on the pastel under torsional loading can be calculated by using the formula tau max equals to Tc over J. After solving, we found that the tau max is 670.68 kPa. Moving on to part B, we are to identify the maximum normal stress of the hook due to bending. We can first solve for the bending moment as well as the moment of inertia of the hook. For bending moment, m equals to fd. Since f equals to mg, 
by substituting all the values, the moment should be equal to 0.03895 Newton meter. By knowing that the diameter of the hook is 4 mm, we get both C and R of the hook is 2 mm. We can now calculate the moment of inertia by using the formula I equals to 1 over 4 pi r to the power of 4 and I obtain is 1.2566 times 10 power of negative 11 meter to the power of 4. Next, we can solve for the maximum bending stress in the hook by using the formula sigma m equals to mc of i. By substituting all the values, we get sigma m equals to 6.20 megapascal. In part C, we want to figure out the stress and deformation of the working state of Timmy's grandfather. In order to calculate the stress of the working stake, we need to find out its cross-sectional area. Since the working stake has cylindrical shape, its cross-sectional area is equal to pi d squared over 4. By substituting the values of diameter of the working stake into this formula, we will get 9.6211 times 10 to the power negative 4 meters squared for the cross-sectional area. After that, we can calculate the stress of the working stake by using the formula P over A where P represents the force applied. By substituting the values of P and A, we will know that the stress of the working stake is 519691.1 Pascal. Next, the formula of deformation of the working stake can be derived from this formula, where E represents the modulus of elasticity and the epsilon represents the strain. Then, the definition of the strain can be represented by this formula, where the delta represents deformation of the working stake and L represents the length of the working state. Therefore, we will get the formula of deformation of the working state which is equal to stress over modulus of elasticity times length of the working state. By substituting their respecting values into this formula, the deformation of the working state is 5.65 micrometer. That's all for the results and discussion. Thank you. In short, by taking real-life examples, we are able to relate mechanics or materials in our daily life. From the examples of mortar and pestle, kitchen hook, and walking stick, we gain a better understanding on principles of mechanics or material applied on everyday life. <laughs>